Great Barrier Reef is located off the coast of northeastern Queensland. It is located 142 kilometres northeast of Townsville and east of the Gurungun National Park. There are 14 coastal ecosystems that are important to the function of the reef. Coral reefs, lagoon floor, islands, open water, seagrasses, coastline, estuaries, freshwater, wetlands, forested wood plain, heath and shrublands, grass and sedge lands, woodlands, forests and rainforests. These provide important links between land, freshwater and marine environments as well as feeding and breeding grounds for many marine species. Changes or losses to these coastal ecosystems can lead to a variety of environmental impacts as well as serious problems for industries dependent on the Great Barrier Reef. Temperature and sunlight are two abiotic factors found in nearly every ecosystem. But since the Great Barrier Reef is an aquatic ecosystem, it has additional abiotic components including light penetration, salts, gases and water density. Light penetrates the ocean surface only about 20 metres. The density of water in the Great Barrier Reef changes with depth, which changes the biotic components that can live in a given depth. Animals such as sea turtles, crabs, sea urchins and fish act as consumers in the Great Barrier Reef ecosystem. Primary consumers in this ecosystem include zooplankton and herbivorous fish, while other fish that eat barnacles or that eat plankton make up a group of secondary consumers. Large reef fish, sharks, eels and barracudas make up the tertiary consumers at the top of the food chain. Plants and bacteria are two other major types of biotic components of the Great Barrier Reef. Bacteria act as decomposers for this ecosystem. Autotrophs such as phytoplankton, algae and seaweed serve as the major plant life and primary producers in the Great Barrier Reef. The main apex predators in the Great Barrier Reef food web are tiger shark, great white shark, moray eel, the humpback whale and the dugong. Without any one of the 4,000 species existing in the Great Barrier Reef, the whole food chain could be drastically affected. With the loss of tiger sharks, their prey would rise in numbers immensely and therefore their prey would start to die out and create an imbalance in the whole ecosystem. The crown of thorns starfish is usually found in the Indo-Pacific region, the Indian Ocean, Western and Central Pacific Ocean. COT starfish are such pests because they feed on coral and they grow in staggering numbers, which makes it extremely difficult to get rid of them. A mother can release millions of eggs per breeding season. Crown of thorn starfish have a defense mechanism based on the spikes of their backs, which is a poison gland. Despite this mechanism, they are still prey to multiple predators including puffish, various shrimps, helmet shells and more. Recently, scientists have found a way to combat these pests. In two years, more than 250,000 COT starfish have been removed from the reef. The way this has been done is experts insert an injection into the starfish. It then breaks apart within 48 hours. This injection does not harm any other animals. Many people believe that tourism in the Great Barrier Reef is a negative impact. However, I believe it is positive. With millions of people flocking to the beautiful scenery of the reef, a great deal of awareness is created which can be passed on to others. There are many jobs obtained which involve the Great Barrier Reef. Many of these to maintain and preserve the reef as much as possible. This benefits the reef, the marine life and the people touring to visit the reef. Humans play a huge part in controlling and balancing out the populations of animals within the reef. Killing some starfish may create a better balance of coral and fish. Without humans doing this, there could be a more dominant species of marine life killing too many animals and sending some into extinction. Without humans, the Great Barrier Reef couldn't have been added to the UNESCO endangered listings. By adding the reef to this site, professionals can keep an eye on the reef and act on any problems with precision and knowledge to keep the reef safe. Having the Great Barrier Reef added to part of the school curriculum near subjects like science or geography has taught kids about the unique qualities of the Great Barrier Reef and how we should keep it intact. By doing this, many more people have had a more sufficient knowledge on the reef and therefore been able to act on the threats. Tens of millions of tons of fish are killed worldwide every year. This is absolutely unacceptable. It's ruining our waters and potentially harming many food chains and putting other species into extinction.
At least 7,000 ships cross the Great Barrier Reef each year. At least one of those 7,000 are bound to leak oil or have an accident, and this has very fatal impacts on the reef. A recent oil spill recorded in 2010 saw oil spread for 3 kilometers around the reef. Due to this damage, some areas of the reef have become uninhabitable to marine life. In 2009, a report identified climate change as one of the greatest threats to the Great Barrier Reef's health in the long term. Dramatic weather events like cyclones can destroy large portions of the reef. All animals and plants have temperature limits, and when these are reached, natural processes may break down. Atmospheric temperatures, lack of cloud cover, and freshwater runoff all contribute to rising sea surface temperatures. We are all aware of the damage that polluting water does to the marine life, yet millions of tons of rubbish is still thrown into the sea every single year. Animals are suffering immensely from this problem. It ruins the coral reefs and kills the marine life within it.